we go. So we're going to start up with because he'll he'll just cry if I don't. So Petro seems to have just published. Um, well scheduled by Petty. He's organised these really nicely. So we're going to give Carmondale Mining Company a little bit of a go. Yeah, three elements is what we're after. So I think if I should just go to my friends' courses, hopefully. There we go, Carbondale Mining and Carbondale Whiskey. So let's see, I think he's done the form as well, so we'll check that one out. <laughs> so yeah, and we'll get a bit of an idea of what he's going for. So Dream Team 2020 course submission form. So for those of you who aren't aware, for this contest I've asked everyone to submit to judges a few details about how they want the course to play, basically things they want judges to be aware of. So, Carmondale Mining, what tees would you like to be judged from gold? Any further conditions? Prevailing wind east, default grid speed 154, max speed 163, fast. Cool. Uh, any key design features? Greens are potentially on the small side and there aren't many green side bunkers. I did this to put land movement front and centre and let contour defend path. Bunkers themselves are grass lit bunkers, so they have flatter bottoms and you don't see much sand from tee or fairway. That's the sort of thing we want judges to hear about. Love that. Intended difficulty, medium slash difficult. Shit. Uh, which it seems is quite a lot of the courses. Uh, platinum slash elite level. Any um, any real life courses. Environment inspired by T uh, Clear Creek Tahoe. Love it. Bunkering by Donald Ross. Love Donald Ross. Which three required elements? Uh, small course contained in one million yard area blind tee shot which he hasn't specified which hole but I'm sure I'll find out when it's there and at least five par three holes so let's get into this we are going to set this to then east and medium Ross bunkers and look at that little creek oh wrong one uh, we want settings but what style of Ross bunkers I just don't know wind speed let's go medium let's go wind direction east we'll keep firmness and everything and we're going from gold perfect now i played last one on one let's go for two this time so fingers crossed the little restart just sorts things out i don't know i mean i'm not that last course i'm not putting it down to the grass or anything could be any reason well straight away this is a good look i'm lucky in that I saw this one come together so I've got a bit more of a heads up on what we're going for here so we're looking at boreal because you've got the buried textures there all the grasses which work together pretty nicely hey Jack the creek is really cool Sindra star low falls which are underused but he's done really nicely I hate the fact that you can only get this working by hiding rocks behind them really. Although, that's very well done with the dual water plane thing. This little rock area is great. Look at the little bumpy areas. Big fan of this. Yep, this looks good. Love the tree line. Let's go for a little fly around. This is a Petroselli. So immediately love the fact that you can see the trees surrounding everything but not much on there. That takes a lot of restraint not to just chuck framing trees everywhere. Um, we've got this creek coming through which is brilliant. And that's going to go pretty much all the way. Does it split much? I'm trying to work out how much he's crutched on a creek doesn't look like very much at all and it m meanders really naturally that works brilliantly I love the low land now you may well notice there are probably more than 18 holes here that's on purpose he's released a dual course so there's a whiskey version which I believe is another th five different holes or something like that we're not judging that one but it's quite a cool little touch so contours work nicely <laughs> okay, so we want to be as far left as possible. Love this green. 
little raise in here is a very Petro thing to do, that little mound just in the middle. Well, I think we can safely blame my PC for all the tempo on the last round. That's great. Get a little kick that way. Brilliant. And now hopefully we can hit a little bit more of that backstop. Hmm. I'm trying to work out what I feel about this mound in front. A large part of me would like that to be a little bit lower. I get what you're going for. But I do love this little bit of apron we've got here that allows me to land it a little bit short and work it on. Tough snipple is exactly how you've heard it. I feel like this bit could just be a touch lower and would benefit the whole as a, an entirety, but I'm okay with it. It's a tough sniffle. Great little green sight. Mm, not quite. But I like that I had options of how we go. We could have chucked it right at the green, could have tried to hit a little bit further and at that spine. Which I didn't really see as a spine, but now I do. Hmm. Fun. Love these sorts of greens. Uh, tricky little break. Uh, kind of feel like it's going to be straight-ish. Oh. Shame. Alright, we get a par 3 second. Now one of the things he was looking for were his 5 par 3s. Oh, instantly this is great, isn't it? Oof, tiny little greens. Let's play guess the pin positions. One in there, one up there, two down here probably. Has to be. The little rocky elements are really well done. I'm still not quite sure how much I love the bright brown grass. But I think that's a me thing. But I really love the little splashes of the yellow grass blown up quite big. Love this green. Greens backed into hillsides are really cool. Curious to see if it's platinum level. I could see it. Oh, and it's put me right in a gap. Ugh. Well, okay. Didn't think that was a very slow. Hmm. I mean, if you're looking to see how platinum players would do on this, I think you've come to the wrong screen. Stream. Go on, funnel back, funnel back. There we go, and that's why I love greens like this. That is a sneaky good little sightline out towards that hole in the back left. I think he was saying Clear Creek Tahoe was one, but I think Rock Creek came up at some point. Yeah. Hmm, love this. That green site's brilliant as well. Can you... I don't see why you would play down there. I think those bunkers are going to come annoyingly into play with the wind. Awesome sightline. Love the clubhouse. Clubhouse we're going to have to go and have a look at in a minute. Hey Adam. Yeah, it's been it's been great so far. Actually, I think the bright orange grass works really nicely down here. It's the I th yeah. Close up it looks weird. I from ground height it looks great from above. It's not quite doing it for me, but ground level looks so good down there. That planting's awesome. So, yeah. Love this little mound in front. Bunkers are very Petro. When I think of Petro bunkers, I, I definitely get this kind of understated vibe, which I like. Hmm. Do you want to try and hit a, a driver and run through, or is there anywhere to lay up? Hmm. 
I mean, I wish I was playing on a front pin because I would be hitting down here and funneling in the whole time. No, I think we just go for it, sort it. I mean, I've already got more perfects on this round than I had in the entirety of last round. Yep, it's a great green. Flop game needs some improvement. Well, we have a birdie putt at least. I do really like this green. I, if wind wasn't in, then I think it would be an even more fun shot to get to the back. But that's where you got schedulers like Petty who can who can make that happen. Beauty. That's. No, as many birdies as we got through baby balls course. Love this. I remember seeing this hole a while back. Hmm. God, I'm tempted. No! Eh, still a better angle. It's fine. Yeah, the rough, the texturing level is just great. Big fan. One six four up thirty. I mean, I've not really helped myself with that tee shot. There's an approach though. Oof. And of course, we missed that part. Knew it. <laughs> Screw you, Petro. <laughs> uh, oh, I like five. Ah, you nasty, nasty man. Okay. Little Diddy Green, fun false front. I mean, I hope to God you put a pin down here. That would just be amazing. This is just a fun course. Love the way the creek comes in. I definitely don't want to hit driver down that. Or if I do, it's a partial. Yeah, that part is definitely on me. Yeah, we got a little partial. Creek work is just outstanding. Big fan. Okay. 108. Yeah, something like that. Hmm. Have not figured out tempo today. Love these little green contours. I love also the big views you get across the plot. Just the way you've done the valley down at the bottom and just running up either side of it is very cool. Okay, we've got another par 3, so another one of those ones. Bunkering, definitely starting to see the Ross stuff here. I think it's really nicely layered. Again, works well. Tiny itty bitty little green. Okay, that could be all right. Don't you dare, Petro. Absolute bastard. <laughs> oh, it was so close. Okay. That's fine. So close. It's a really good hole. Par threes is a required element so far. Look like a good move. Hmm. Well, this is the best frame t-shirt we've got. <coughs> what I like about this is we've had so much openness and now you've done that kind of really closed off either side and just makes you appreciate the big view a little bit more. Drawing your eyes. 
Yes, view is great. I mean, I've got no idea what I'm doing with this tee shot, though. <laughs> There's no chance I'm holding this fairway. Look at that green. See, kind of, um, this is what I like. M I guess it's personal preference. Little half tiers, little backstop, mound on this side, ton of character on this tier, this green, and you kind of only really got the one tier. Free Jizer. He's around. Don't, don't speak too loudly. Let's see where this ends up. That's a fun tee shot. Oh. See, he said the same. Oh, hit three with he says now. He says now. That's okay. We've got some sort of an angle. That could get a could get a kick. Yeah, it won't. Oh, we're gonna have a fun putt down this. That's so close to being really good. Petty, I can see this on platinum. I think it feels perfect elite for me, but you could bump up the conditions a bit. Ah, that's decent effort. Well, you sort of told me. You told me very late. Oh, almost missed that as well. Yeah, and that's the sort of thing you find out with multiple rounds, which is great. Kind of mixing and matching bunkers here, which I know I commented on in the whip thread. But I like that we've seen it before. So it doesn't feel out of character. This little bunker's great. Okay, drivable. I feel like this is one to go at. And we're going to find that little bunker, aren't we? <laughs> so well placed. Excellent. Platinum guys won't like much, that's fine. We don't design for what they like. Now just funnel down nicely. This is good. I mean this contest has to be a rain uh schedule is a wet dream, right? There's so much good. Hmm. Another par three, another winner. The five par threes have been done and Green size. If we're being nitpicky, it feels just big compared to all the others. No, no. I feel you could have shrunk this one a little bit. Oh, in this wind, Petro, damn it. Hmm. This is pin two. Well, there's a partial. Go on, be good. Now funnel off. Oh, and off the green. Trying to work out if I like whether that funnel off the green or not. I think I'm okay with it. I think it's one where I just you need to know the course a bit better. Oh, we've got the sun coming out. This is a rarity. Right, while we're here, let's have a look at this clubhouse then. Okay. So train station, we say. That's very cool. How you have managed to do this buried rough so well? Oh, uh, you've just painted heavy rough around it. Clever. I was going to say, you can't bury trees that accurately. That is so well done. Yep. Love this. <laughs> the railway line as well. 
awesome. So what have we done that with? Little fence posts. The like little missing bits are perfect. Just class. Cars in the car park. Yep. Absolutely nailed it. The little fence is perfect. <laughs> That's really cool. <laughs> Look at this pin. Yep. This sort of stuff. This is like a groovy green. Like these sort of little micro undulations are all him. Big fan of that. Okay, so we can carry and gives us a bit of a better angle. Let's try to do that. Huh. That was surprisingly doable. <laughs> yes, Wes. Exactly. Righty, a little bit more. Hmm. These slows just killing me. <laughs> oh, that part is amazing. There will be—I mean, there will be people who hate this, but I am all in on it. What? Well, we're trying to go over the middle of the <laughs> mountain. Uh, A lot of fun. Oh, I didn't quite hit it as much. Ugh, and now I'm on a little yellow bit of slope. I hate these parts. Oh, I thought I had it. Damn. So is this going on platinum? Amazing. Ah, this is our blind tee shot then. So I think you know what I'm going to say, which is the blind hazards. I don't mind it. I can see why people would get annoyed by it. Ooh, that's not good. I don't know. <laughs> I like the way you accomplish the blindness. I'm not sure the rest of the hole quite fits a blind tee shot, if I'm honest. I just think this would be a. This is one of those where I look at the hole design. Let's just load it up a sec. I feel like if I can see that entire hole, it's a great hole as is. I don't think it needs to be blind. Whereas if it's blind, I think. Hey, maybe it's personal preference. I feel like a bit more width, a bit, bit less bunkering probably does you some favours. But one person's opinion there. Oh, please go. That's not too bad. But I liked the trees as naming point. I think they worked well for that. Yeah. And plus like they might knock you down into the bunker. It's not as if the bunker's on the other side of the trees where it's protecting it like you're... Yeah. This is a good look as well. <laughs> oh, I remember this green site. This green site is amazing. So we've established that I am not good enough to play this course. Let's just Let's just enjoy that. Look at this green. I mean, of the courses I've played so far, which consist of the previous one, mine and JC's, I'd say this is the best green site in the contest. I just love it. And have we. Oh, so it's a dry riverbed. Coward. Couldn't bring himself to. Couldn't bring himself to do some doubtful water. Nah, joking. It's awesome. Love it. Ah, uh, awkward, awkward little shot. And of course, the camera's going the other way. That could be okay. Nope, nope, it's not. <laughs> uh, I've not been miles off on so many shots, and it's just you get punished. Oh, we got some spin out of that there. Hey, we're under par. 
No, I love the way you've done the little dried up creek. I think that works really nicely. And yeah, I guess it makes sense. Another little path three in. <laughs> okay. Well, we're not making birdie here. Hmm. Wasn't a good. Right, I was just trying to hit the green. So. Yeah. Which I guess makes sense. So we got one more par three. I'm going to the scorecard a sec. I feel like the par threes so far have all been relatively short, apart from we've had that one uphill of 201. 137, 173. What did I hit into that? I feel like I only hit a nine because of like elevation change. 130. And we've got a 195 coming up. I'd have probably tried to switch the distances of these two, maybe, or. But, let's see. It might be different on different pins as well. Really good framing. Love being up against the edge of the woods. Works well. Classic little mound in the front of the green. Real core cool and Grenchel vibes with those mounds. <laughs> This is tough. Oh, Baby Ball, we've just played yours. I really, really enjoyed it. So you'll see it on the video on demand. Just, you did a stellar job, buddy. Okay, and um, we're now playing Petros, which uh, is just difficult. Oh, where are we going? I'm not sure Rhino's breaking 100 here. I think you might. Oh, what a putt. No, well, I hope that, that I hope the stream is useful and like there's just loads I liked. I thought you'll see all of it, but oh, this is cool. You know what? With that mound, this reminds me of what is it? The hole on Windstone. It's like 14 or some 50. No, 14. I want to say. I think this just needs to be a little longer. Like, make me really hit this spot to funnel onto the front of the green. Make that a slope that I'm forced to use rather than trying to carry it all the way there. Would love that. Would love that a bit more. But I. Don't, I, I really like the green, and boy does that set up well. Of course we get a perfect when we want a fast. Yeah, wind into didn't really help. I see, ex yeah, stop. Completely see what you're going for there though, and really like it. Oh, just, I mean, why I can't hit straight putts tonight, I just do not know. All of those bogeys have been from poor straight putts. Okay, par four. Ah, I like this. So we've gone double green, oh, sorry, split green, which fits this really nicely. Coming down the mountain side is cool. I wonder whether you could allow a bit more fairway out here, but I don't guess it wouldn't fit. Yeah, heavy rough we go again, but at least we got an angle. One six four. Let's go one seven three. Oh, go 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 go. It's not too bad. Twenty five. Mm. Oh, I thought I'd made one again. Um, I think the split greens work really nicely. And I particularly like how you've done it with the 
just slight stepping down so that you, for this green you could be using that mound to kind of funnel in if you go way too left whereas here it's more of a hazard and running down interested to know whether you hit the other green at all during playtesting just by accidentally rolling onto it I think this works well Ooh, look at that little green and the bunker deception I am all in on so the way you've got these two bunkers and then the little ones the ones later and it looks like they're all just following on and then miles apart that's good stuff well I mean I'm not hitting over that bunker not with headwind let's just go three wood and probably miss the fairway mm-hmm and told you, missed the fairway. Okay, desperately want to stay on the flat if we can. Lovely. Good luck, judges. I know, right? We have got a job on our hands. This is just class. Look at this green. This is very cool. Yeah, and uh, that's not a good shot. <laughs> He's got a tenth place green, has he? Oh, no, wait. Eleventh place? Can't remember. Take a peek at the mine shaft. Where's the mine shaft? Oh, this. <laughs> fun. <laughs> totally unnecessary, but really fun. Well, we're screwing up this hole in the meantime, so. Oh yeah. It's been a while since we had one of them. A Goma FLV. No. Nope. All gone. And then we get 18, which is a nice long par 4, and oh, lovely little fuck you pin to finish. I do like, uh, what I really like is that you haven't run the green all the way to the edge of this runoff. Because I feel like that would tempt you to put a pin right on the edge, and you don't need to. That's a really classy little move. Nope, that one was slow. Well, okay, maybe we'll lay up. Let's go and see the bottom of those little mounds. Love this little, love this little land movement. Yeah, it's great, isn't it? I mean, what a set of courses already. And we've barely had, like, you've barely had a quarter of a team, like an eighth of a team publish. Just awesome. Hey, see, man. So, two over I feel is about indicative of where that course played compared to the previous one. I don't feel I didn't play well. It's tough. Um, greens are super small, as de as described. And that's where it's really good to get this information from guys ahead of c contests because that information about this is how I wanted it to play. The greens are small. They are funky. That's the aim. Works really nicely. Um, let me just look back to your other require required elements that you're going for. So. Five, five par three holes. I thought most. I thought they were all really good holes individually. I think it could have used a little bit of length balancing for me, but that might just be wind and pin. So we'll check that a little again. The whole course in a small area nailed that. Like A one plus, I think on that. And then the blind tee shot. Yeah, I think it was accomplished really well. I'm just not sure the rest of the hole necessarily fitted that as much. Overall though, aesthetics are brilliant, land movements class, hole designs are really strategic without being crutchy, which is hard to do. Um, it's a unique look. We haven't got anything in the con in the um, we haven't got anything in the database that looks like this. Um, and knowing some of your inspirations, I think you've really drawn that that well. So let's play one more chat. What am I playing next? I'm going to cut the stream and we'll go to another one in a minute. But we've got one more in. 
I think. What have I got out there? Got the the Matt F, we've got Mayday, we've got Hudat Matt, and was there one other? We're going Bayou. Bayou we've got. There we go. Right, I'll cut the stream and join.